Court of Kenya Monday released the detailed judgment on the presidential election petition of 2022. The seven judge bench made seven recommendations relating to the corporate governance of the Electoral Commission. Um. Thank you. The Supreme Court of Kenya has proposed a raft of measures that seeks to further strengthen Kenya's electoral democracy in its detailed judgment of the 2022 presidential election petition. It is a 133-page judgment relayed on Monday, giving details of the summary ruling given on 5th of September. The Kome led judiciary outlined seven key interventions needed to further strengthen the independence of the Electoral Commission, including the protection of election technology. The recommendations made by the Apex Court are on IBC and corporate governance issues, Parliament should consider enhancing the statutory and regulatory frameworks on the separate policy and administrative remit of IBC. Two, IBC ought to effect formal internal guidelines that clearly delineate the policy, strategy and oversight responsibility of the chairperson and the commissioners and develop institutionalized guidelines on how to manage the separation of administrative and policy domains. Three, the roles of the chairperson, commissioners, and the chief executive officer, other staff, and third parties should be clearly set out in both the legislative and administrative edicts of as stipulated above. On election technology, the Kome led judiciary says to avoid suspicion from stakeholders unless where and when it is absolutely necessary, access to the servers supporting the transmission and storage of Forms 34A, B and C should be restricted to IBC staff during the election period. IBC should ensure that the servers supporting the elections and those serving their internal administrative work are distinct and separate. This will then allow the court, should the need be, to carry out forensic imaging of the same without compromising and or infringing any third party agreements. On statutory forms, IBC may consider simplifying and restructuring Forms 34A and, and including a column that accounts for stray ballots. In addition, it may consider having only one section for total valid votes. The independent body may also find it prudent to thoroughly train its returning officer as to what constitutes valid votes per this court's decision. IBC also ought to put in place specific mechanisms to allow for special voting as contemplated under Regulation 90 of the Elections Regulations 2012. On constitutional reforms, the court reiterates that it has stated in the past on the 14-day limit within which it has to hear and determine a presidential election petition. It is a judgment that set the stage for the swearing-in of President William Ruto, a judgment that one side of the political divide welcomed in the name of justice delivered, while another disagreeing with the judgment and terming the ruling as justice denied. With the evidence that was dismissed as hot air, the hopes of reviving what they termed as a victory deferred hit the wall. Brian Amwai, Look Up TV, Nairobi.